Howard County, Maryland is a beautifully centrally located area and it is one of the most desirable places to live in the Baltimore Washington corridor in Maryland. Niche.com ranks Howard County, Maryland as number one in terms of best places to raise a family in Maryland. Howard County, Maryland is ranked number one out of 23 counties in Maryland for the best places to buy a house in the state of Maryland. And Niche.com ranks Howard County, Maryland as the best county to live in statewide in the entire state of Maryland. In today's video, we are going to be talking about why Howard County, Maryland is such an amazing place to live. And we're going to be specifying seven things that you need to think about when thinking about living and moving to Howard County, Maryland. So let's get into it right now. So Howard County, Maryland is known for many of its popular cities like Ellicott City, like Columbia, like Elk Ridge, like Skaggsville, and all of these locations are excellent places to live. One of the things that makes Howard County such an amazing place to live is that it has a thriving arts and cultural scene. There are numerous galleries, music venues, art installations that you can take advantage of if you are a resident in Howard County. Another thing that makes Howard County such an amazing place to live is that it is known for its parks and outdoor open spaces. It is one of the best places to go if you are looking for parks, green spaces, trails, going on hikes. There are so many options for you and your family. And I know I had clients who moved to Columbia, Maryland, and were so excited because they were living right next to a park that had a pond and it was walking distance from their house. So there are lots of outdoor activities to do if you are interested in nature. The third thing that's really great about living in Howard County is its central location. As I mentioned, Howard County is an amazing spot in between the Washington Baltimore corridor. It's going to take you about maybe 60 minutes, 45 to 60 minutes to get to Washington DC and about 45 minutes or maybe 30 depending on where you are in Baltimore City. So the fact that you can easily get to both of these locations by just jumping on I-95 is is really great. When you have the best of both worlds and can easily get to Washington DC or to Baltimore, you really don't have to worry about things to do for fun. Plus Columbia and some of these other cities in Howard County have their own thriving cultural things to do also. So you don't even have to leave Howard County to find interesting events if you don't want to. If you are new to my channel, welcome. You have come to the right place if you are looking for everything there is to know about living, working, playing, and thriving thriving in the Baltimore metro region. My name is Persia and for the past four years I've been helping people just like you to move and transition to the Baltimore metro area and I absolutely love it. So whether you are looking to move in the next nine days or 90 days, it would be my absolute pleasure to help you make the transition and to move to Maryland. My team and I are here to help you make that smooth transition so you can send us a phone call, a text message, an email, we can schedule a Zoom call, and it would be our absolute pleasure to help you make a smooth move to Baltimore Metro. Another thing to know about living in Howard County, Maryland is that it has a really robust economy and it has a diversity of job opportunities that make having a great quality of life in Howard County possible. Howard County, Maryland has one of the lowest unemployment rates in the region. Also, Howard County, Maryland has the highest rate of job growth in all of Maryland. In addition to having a strong economy, Howard County also has a super strong public school system, which is something that's very important to people who are relocating and who have kids. Niche.com gives Howard County's public schools an A overall in academics and Howard County is ranked number one out of all of the Maryland counties when it comes to the best public school system in the state of Maryland. Another important thing to know before you move to Howard County, Maryland is about the cost of living in this area. The median household income in Howard County is about $140,000 and the cost of living in Howard County, Maryland Maryland is about 32% higher than the national average. Housing costs 
in Howard County, Maryland are 93% higher than other parts of the country. So it is more expensive to live in Howard County than a lot of the other counties that I have featured on my channel thus far. The median home value in Howard County, Maryland is about $550,000 and the median rent in Howard County is about $1,900. The last thing on our list to talk about when we think about living in Howard County, Maryland is commuting and transportation and 98% of people use cars to get around. That's the main mode of transportation. There is other public transportation like buses and shuttles and ride shares, but cars are the main way that people get from here to there in Howard County. There are three major interstates and 15 highways that run through Howard County, Maryland. The two main interstates are I-70, which runs east to west, and then you have I-95 that run north and south. And one thing to know about this, just kind of like what I was talking about Southern Maryland congestion, is that commute times can be long in rush hour times of day, like earlier in the morning and later in the evening when people are getting off of work because of congestion. So that's something to keep in mind. Overall, Howard County, Maryland is one of the best counties in Maryland to live. And if you and your family are thinking about making a move to Howard County, make sure to reach out to me and to my team. It would be our pleasure to help you make a smooth transition to Howard County, Maryland. You can reach us via phone call, text message, you can email us, we can schedule a video call, and it would be our absolute pleasure to help you make a smooth transition to Howard County, Maryland, or any other county in the the Baltimore metro region. Thank you so much for watching my video and I will see you in the next one. Bye!